In this video, I'm going to give you a traditional background into the difference between building a business off of inbound marketing versus building a business off of outbound marketing. Now, these two are usually kind of in a different world. So most people choose to go to the inbound route. So when they get started, they mostly think about inbound, which includes the, the following topics. So it includes everything from uh, PPC. So that means uh, Facebook social media advertising. It includes SEO. Uh, so that's uh, Google uh, page ranking. It includes content, uh, meaning creating a video on YouTube, creating uh, different blog articles. That's kind of what it encapsulates. Uh, plus the other extension of that, that's kind of before the internet uh, is the is the referral side. So basically getting getting a business off of somebody referring them to you. Now, on the other hand, what do you have in outbound? So in outbound, you have things like cold emails. Uh, you have things like cold calling. Uh, and uh, if, if you notice the, the main uh, kind of like the directive word here is the word cold. So what most business owners do is they try to completely uh, ignore this area. So they try to completely uh, not take any part in it and they mostly focus on, on these areas. Now, the reason they focus on these areas, and again, it's either, oh, I'll do, I'll work on referrals and I'm just gonna give the best service and people are gonna recommend me, or I'm just gonna do content marketing and people are gonna come to me through my, through the, you know, YouTube or through my blogs or SEO or PPC. The problem with these one, all of these is that you're essentially dependent on an external phenomenon. So with referrals, let's say you have, do a great job and get your business to a 20% referral rate. The problem with that is that if you have a 20% referral rate, you usually also have a 20% drop off rate. So businesses that rely on referrals, if you're not the number one best provider uh, in your country or the world, if you're not number one, uh, you are going to basically get shitty results because if you're not if you're number one, you're going to get a ton of referrals. If you're not number one, you're going to get a bit of referrals. So being number one, very hard, already not an option. What about content marketing? Well, do you want to spend the next two, three years creating content on a daily basis, working on it and hoping that it gets to a level where people start to pay attention and notice you? And again, it may look from the influencers and the people that create YouTube, successful YouTube channels that it's easy. Trust me, I have a channel with about 600 videos at this point and about 4,000 subscribers. Now, obviously, if I focused more on SEO for the channel and content, I bet it could have been five or 10 times that. But do you really want to take a few years to build content to start growing your business? What if it's the wrong business? Or even worse, what happens if the content that you've made suddenly is deemed invaluable? For example, a type of video that you made no longer works on YouTube, so they take it down, or an article that you made is no longer promoted by Google. Basically, again, not a good idea for a short-term solution to massive growth. SEO, well, that's obvious. It would take you anywhere from two to six months just to get some initial results and usually cost you a lot of money and Google can kick you out at any moment. And PPC, highly unstable, uh, costs a lot of money. And the moment that you scale it, let's say you scale your campaign by 10X, you'll only get two, three X results. So even if your campaign is successful on a low budget, it's not gonna work on a high budget. Now, what about cold outreach? So there are a lot of benefits to cold outreach that you simply don't get in other forms of marketing. One of the biggest benefits that I love that basically changes the entire game for me is the fact that it's gonna, that it gives you freedom. So what I mean by that is imagine, one moment, there we go. So imagine with uh, outbound marketing, when you do outbound, um, you have these benefits, you have freedom. So freedom means that you can basically control how many people you contact. You can contact one person, you can contact a thousand. No, you're not dependent on somebody replying to you back or being interested in your product or, or, or voting or lead or becoming a lead. You contact them in the first place, which means you have the freedom to contact as many people as you want. Uh, another benefit that you get with cold outreach is that you basically get the ability to control the audience. 
So instead of relying on these tools, basically here in these tools, you don't control the audience at all. And in this tool, you have some control over the audience. But again, let's say you're using Facebook ads. Are you able with Facebook ads to only target uh, roofing contractors or only target uh, lawyers in a specific city? Well, obviously not. You're able to target people that are interested in stuff because this is mostly for B2C, but you're not able to control this here, like here in B2B. Now, another huge, huge, huge change is that you have the ability to measure and with that to estimate or predict. What does that mean? Well, I know that if I do 20 cold calls, I'm going to get about four people interested and about one of them is going to schedule a call. So I know that to get one call, I need 20 people. Now, if I want to know that my closing rate is 20%, that means I need five meetings, which means I need 20 call, 20 interested people, which means I need 100 calls. Now, if you can measure, you can actually predict and control your income and decide how much money you'll make simply by adjusting the target and the, and the numbers. So you can actually have predictions in your business related to income rather than depending on outside flows to grow your business. And finally, this is really the biggest one for me, is that if you do it correctly, you can automate it. You can literally automate your outreach. And I've done that with my company and in five, six months, basically built a company that's grossing tens of thousands in monthly recurring revenue and working with about 50 clients from all across the world with high level CEOs of Inc. 5000 companies using one email system that we've built. Now, I wanna invite you to a webinar that I'll be doing this Wednesday. The webinar will discuss how to use outbound marketing to grow your business and how to automate it to turn that on autopilot. So if you're interested, just go to the link below. Below this video, you'll see a link to register to the webinar. And I guarantee you this webinar will change your life. It will make you not dependent on these external sources, not be a victim, uh, not be in a place where you wish and hope that things will get better, but actually be able to control your income, control your pipeline, control the type of audiences that come in, and finally automate that process and make it run on autopilot. Thanks a lot and hope to see you on the webinar.